Hey everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to connect to a Minecraft server using FTP. So that's going to be using FileZilla, using an FTP solution to access a remote server on a server host. Now, if you don't have a server host yet, or if you're just not happy with the current server host that you have, check out Apex Minecraft Hosting at the first link down below, thebreakdown.xyz slash Apex. You get an incredible 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server for you and your friends. We actually love Apex so much that we host our own server, play.breakdowncraft.com on them. So if you're looking for a great server for you and your friends to love and enjoy apex is the way to go and it's super simple and easy to transfer over using ftp or they will actually even help you do that process if you contact their support so check out apex the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash apex if you're looking for a lag free server that is just awesome apex does not oversell or anything like that so go check out apex the first link down below again the breakdown.xyz slash apex but let's go ahead and remote on into an apex server using ftp now the first thing you're going to need is a ftp client and I personally recommend FileZilla because it's free and it's just good and there's no reason to overcomplicate anything. So anyway, to download FileZilla, you're going to go to, I think the second, maybe the third, but in the description down below, it'll say download FileZilla. And when you click on that, it will take you here. This is FileZilla's official website, right? The FileZilla or FileZilla-project.org is their official website where you can click on the download FileZilla client. It's then going to take you off here where you can click on download FileZilla client again. And then it's going to give you another option because they obviously want you to go with your paid option here. Don't do that. Just click on the green download button there. Finally, when you do that, FileZilla will download in the bottom left. You don't need to keep or save the file. It's 100% safe. On Mozilla Firefox, you may need to save it. But again, it's 100% safe. You're seeing me install it live in this video. So let's go ahead and minimize this. And on my desktop, I have FileZilla here. This may be in your downloads folder, by the way. If it is, not to worry. Just click on the little Windows icon. It's in the top left of my screen, bottom left of your screen. That little Windows icon there in the top or bottom left of your screen. Open that or click on that. And then go ahead and type in downloads. You'll have this downloads file folder. When you enter in on that and open your downloads folder, you'll find FileZilla in here. Drag it to your desktop just for ease of use. Now, let's go ahead and install FileZilla. Now, you might be like, Nick, it's just installing a program. It is, but I like to go through it because they do something that I don't necessarily like. They used to. We're going to see if they still do. Anyway, when you open this up, just go ahead and click I agree here. Obviously, you do want to read their end user license agreement, but go ahead and click I agree. And then it'll go through, do some things, get working, get loading. Now, I already have FileZilla installed. I'm just going to be updating it here, but the process should be about the same. So anyway, upgrade FileZilla using the previous settings or change settings. We're going to upgrade. You probably won't have this, but just go ahead and click next. And then what you want to do when it says install additional software, this is what I was talking about that I did not like. When it says install additional Additional software click on decline right and then click on decline and then it will install always click decline or next never click accept or anything like that so then it will install FileZilla and it'll have the start FileZilla now button checked go ahead and click finish and there we go FileZilla is now open quick and easy like that click OK on the update notes now how do you get to your server from here how do you log in to your server at somewhere like Apex or anywhere right else right no matter what server host you're using how do you log in? Well, we're going to be using Apex here, obviously. So when you open this up, we do have an Apex server set up. This is my little tutorial server I have on Apex. And when you're here, over here on the left-hand side, we have FTP file access. Now, you're going to have something like that on any server host you have. So just look for FTP of some sort and then click on that. Now, in here, you have things that are blacked out. As you can see, the FTP address is blacked out and stuff like that. That's okay. All you can see here is the 266. That's just so you can see the same thing. And then you can see 124 in the username there, just because we want to keep things as safe as possible. Now, what's cool about Apex is you don't actually need an FTP program like FileZilla. For example, if you were to go ahead and enter in your password here, right like that, you would be able to click log in. And this is an FTP client. You can upload plugins from here, like you can go into plugins, and then you can click on upload over here on the right hand side, upload plugins. All of that stuff can be done, or sorry, upload plugins on the yeah, right hand side and select plugins. That can all be done here. That's actually something I will do occasionally whenever I want to, you know, quickly and easily, and I don't want to open up the FTP client, just need to download, for example, a log file. A lot of times just use this because I'm on Apex anyway. If a server crashes to restart it, it's very easy for me to just go in here and grab a log file, for example. Now, one thing I want to mention, if you don't have this, if your server doesn't have this, how do you log in using this information? Again, blacked out except for the 266 there and then the 124. Well, you're going to copy this. So first, we're going to copy the FTP address over here into FileZilla. This will be blacked out at the top up here as well. So anyway, you're going to go ahead and paste that in there. And as you can see, we do have the 266 there. And then you want to copy the username, right? Like so. So copy the username and paste that into FileZilla. Oh, didn't copy. Hold on. Let me go ahead and copy that username again because it didn't copy the first time. Boom. 
copy that username and paste that into FileZilla, right like so. And as you can see, that is actually going to be all blacked out there, but it's the same one that we had over there. And then your password is going to be, of course, the password that you use in this case to log into Multicraft. Whatever your FTP password is going to be defined on your host. But as you can see here, it's going to be the FTP password or the control panel password that you use to log into your Apex control panel. We're going to paste that here. Your port for FTP is always going to be 21, unless like said differently on your host. Some hosts do change it, but Apex leaves it at 21. And then click Quick Connect and then click OK. And then now it's gonna log you on into your server. So here we are, we have plugins, we have all that stuff. As you can see, I did a little TCP Shield tutorial on this earlier, we have those two plugins in there. We can delete these plugins, all of that stuff. It can all be done quickly and easily via FTP. It's that simple. That's how you can log into your server via FTP. Download FileZilla, enter in the correct information up here at the top, click Quick Connect, and it will work. If you need to connect to a server, you can click this little drop-down box here. I'm not going to click on it because it has other stuff that you don't need to see on it, but you click that drop-down box and it will have this server, and you can click on it again and log right in quickly and easily without having to enter that information every single time. But as you can see, 226 over here, same thing as we saw in the background there, and the username is the same, but again, that's all blacked out because we don't want you knowing that username. But yeah, there you have that. If you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below, but that's how you can connect to a Minecraft server with FTP. If you are fed up with your current host, you want a lag-free host, go with Apex Minecraft Hosting. We actually use them to host our own server, play.breakdowncraft.com. And if you're looking for just a fun server to play on, come play on play.breakdowncraft.com. We have factions, Skyblock Survival. It is incredible. But nevertheless, thank you all so, so much for watching this video. Subscribe for more awesome server admin tutorials. My name is Nick, and I am out. Peace.